Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. It is Thursday morning. I cannot believe it is day five of Vlogmas already, and I'm so happy you are all enjoying it. Um, I also appreciate all the love you gave yesterday because yesterday was really challenging because it was a long and busy day, but I still got content, still got a video, and um, today is Thankful Thursday, and one thing I'm super thankful for today is that you guys were so grateful for it. Even though like I wasn't thrilled with the video, you guys still really enjoyed it, gave it really positive feedback. And that means a lot because some days when you're working and then you still come home and have a lot of work to do, um, it can be really tiring. Um, but the gratitude that you guys show is so incredible. But today the goal is to go around and find as many things to be thankful for um, and I'm going to be jotting them down and reflecting on them during the day. And then my challenge to you is that you start doing the same once a week, twice a week, every day, whatever works for you. Um, because it's really helpful, especially in times of like stress or being overwhelmed to force yourself to find the good, um, really does change your perspective. It's crazy to be talking this loudly at 4.45 in the morning because typically I don't film morning routines or film a lot in the morning just because Steven and Bubba's are asleep and they don't deserve to be woken up because I'm awake. Um, I am a really early riser. I do not like to rush my morning. I need time to get up, get going, and like that's just who I am. I start most mornings, um, well almost every morning, with stretching. There are two stretch routines that I typically do. One is five minutes long, one's 11 minutes long. They're by Yoga with Adrian. At this point I have them memorized so I don't watch the videos anymore, but I'm gonna leave the two linked down below that I use all the time. Um, I love them. Stretching is super important. Um, just especially as we get older, um, to maintain flexibility. And it also just feels like it wakes me up every morning. And then before I have my first cup of coffee, I always have this full glass of water, um, just so I know that I'm already getting hydrated for the day. And then I'm gonna take my vitamins, make my coffee, and then I'm gonna sit, relax. Sometimes I read, sometimes I just light a candle and sit. Um, sometimes I watch news, cause you know, <laughs> that's never stressful. Um, and just have like a slow start to my day. That's what I need to feel really centered and grounded and focused. Um, and I'll probably do a little reflecting today and writing around already what I'm really thankful for. And today's a big day, so I will be going to work. Um, I'm also picking up Danielle this morning, um, getting a Starbucks because I'm going to drop her off and then pick her up because I'm going to drive us to the Celine Dion concert this evening. So. Let's get our vitamins. Um, I'm gonna get actually a little bit more water and then let's get our coffee made. I have been sticking with the Ollie vitamins. I take them every morning. I have to buy more of this one this weekend. I take the men's multi, the probiotic, the daily energy, and then the vitamin D. I also take their sleep one at night and I also have the stress and focus ones that I keep um, at work and home. But I am just gonna take my vitamins and I used to take the skin one, but I stopped taking it simply because it's the only one that tastes absolutely terrible. Actually, it doesn't taste terrible. It is the texture of it that is truly terrible. Um, so, I'm going to, I'm going to take my vitamins, get a little bit more water, and then we're gonna make our coffee. So this is our coffee machine. It is the DeLonghi um, Latissima Pro. I got the recommendation from Christina Brawley. It is the best thing we have bought. Um, you snap the milk canister and just leave this in the fridge. And then I'm going to show you exactly how I make my coffee every morning. What I do for my coffee is I have been using the toasted marshmallow. So I'm gonna put two pumps of toasted marshmallow. And I get those right on Amazon. And then I do my first espresso pod. As soon as that one's done, 
I put in my second. I set my milk foam where I like a little bit more of a dense foam. And then I hit the macchiato button and let that run. Once that is all done, you just turn this nozzle to clean. And then you turn this back, I put that in the sink. I put the milk back in the refrigerator. I give this a quick stir. Look how beautiful that is. So, coffee is made. I'm going to finish drinking this and then just really relax this morning um, and then get showered and cleaned up and off to pick up Danielle. Finished my coffee, I'm going to get cleaned up soon, but I thought since I'm going to be late, I would go ahead and open my advent calendars today. Um, a lot of you have mentioned like, you missed the witty banter between Steve and I. I miss Steven and Bubba's too. It, the house just never feels the same when one of us is gone, um, but we're gonna have to make it through the next couple days. Uh, and we will, I promise. So we're gonna open the advent calendars, we're gonna get cleaned up, we're gonna go get Danielle, um, and yeah, we're gonna have a wonderful Thursday and we're gonna cap it off with Celine Dion. I mean, seriously? Many of you have asked me about this wine advent calendar. It is from Kroger. My mom originally went to get the Aldi one. It was already sold out within minutes um, where she lived. And then she went to Kroger's and they also had one and she got the last one they had in stock. The thing with the wine advent calendars, each of the stores that carry them, and they're hard to find in the US, um, they only make a few thousand of them. So it's sold out nationwide and then goes for an insane amount of money on the um, online market. And one of you also noticed and I didn't notice. Some of them have red, which means it's a red wine. Some of them have um, yellow or gold, which means it's a white wine. I didn't pick up on that. For today, we got a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. And it says on the back, uh, full of zesty lime, lemongrass, and crisp green apple. So we got a Sauvignon Blanc. Let's start with our amazing body shop and learn about a new woman today. Also, one of you mentioned that there are pictures on the back. I agree, but then you can't put it in reversal this way. So I think you have to wait till you're all done and like switch them around. But what did we get in here today? We got a chamomile cleanser. Excited about that, but I'm more excited to see what person we learn about. Civil rights activist Tarana Burke founded the Me Too movement in 2006. She's among the silence breaker group of activists named Time Person of the Year in 2017. Day five, paper chase. Oh my gosh. I have a perfect person in mind for this. It's a really cute unicorn pencil and I have the perfect friend. And I'm actually going to take this to her today. Poor some sugar on me. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but these are actually all cutouts. It is so cute. Day five. These are the sugar lips and they are strawberry, watermelon, and cherry. Time for our day five pin. What is it today? This one is a little seahorse. Kiki K day five is little. Oh, those are actually very pretty. They are push pins, but the pin is rose gold and the rest is clear. I really, really like those. I'm actually gonna take those into work with me for my bulletin board. A lot of you have asked me about the nativity one. I got it from the site Mary Mary. It is sold out. Um, if I can find one that's similar, I will um, leave it linked. A lot of you asked where my Woodland Creature figurines are from last year. Yes, I do have them. I actually set them up in my office as a little decor. So that's where that is. We got a cow. Well, is it a cow or a bull? I don't know. A bull, because it has horns. And I'm going to put him right here behind the tree. All right, day five of Dittique. 
<gasps> it's my favorite. Actually, it really is Steven's favorite, truly. We got Faux de Bois. It smells like a fireplace. If you don't have a fireplace but want the smell of one, buy this candle. It is truly our favorite. We have bought the large one. Um, we absolutely love this candle. I will probably burn this one tonight when I get home. Thought I'd show you where my pipe cleaner trees have landed for right now. I switched out three of the candlesticks that were here for three of the trees. I think these things are so cute. The only thing is I wish they were somewhere where I could see them more. So I might over the weekend figure out how to get them into the living room. But I just love them. They were such a good find. Now it's time for Luxitan. But I forgot um, day three and day four, so I wanted to show you really quick. For day three, I got this rose hand cream. And then on day four, I got the ultra rich cream, which this is one of my favorite, favorite products. So now let's check out what we got for day five. Oh, Almond Day, this is another favorite. And I have a large one of this. So I'm really excited to have a smaller size. I'm actually gonna take this with me today. She has a thousand bags in her hand. She looks like, come on bag lady. <laughs> Are you packing for a year long venture? Guess I have queued up for you. <sighs> Good morning. Look what we're doing the Hoy de Buffalo today. Wait. You have literally no voice. No voice. And after sleep? Oh, you'll have zero voice. No. You should not speak at all today so that you can save your voice. I'm wearing my Dion shirt all day today <laughs> with like pride. And then I brought um, my burgundy sequin shoes that I wore to your bachelorette because I haven't worn them since then. So, I, no, I wore them for a holiday party once, but um, I'm wearing those tonight. I even have lighting for us. <laughs> I am in my office at work, and you know today's advent of kindness is to surprise people with a homemade treat. So I made my infamous buffalo chicken dip for everyone today, along with cutting up celery and some chips, and I'm going to surprise them with that later. I totally hope you are remembering to surprise people with a little treat today. Um, I'm gonna set that up around noon, and I hope they enjoy it. It is midnight. I am back from the Celine Dion concert. It was the best concert I've ever seen in my whole life. But now I'm going to sign off, get this edited, get it uploaded, and it'll get to you when it gets to you. Um, and I will see you tomorrow, and I will leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.